the tongue is bothering her. She needs to figure out where to put her tongue. So I have a hunch that the uh, foramen magnum ring is pulling on that area. Any comments? Have you seen people who have uncomfortable tongues? All the time. Number one, does she has a tongue tie? Yeah, I don't know that. Glossia. So that's why we have a class on it. But basically, ask her to just one of the four or five tests we showed you. And it's not 100%, but it's a good start. Ask yeah, You guys, you can do that in the room. Look at the seating and try to swallow and see if you are sinking or if it's very comfortable. How is it for you, Anne? It's hard. I, I can't do it unless I bring my chin down a bit. <laughs> so maybe you have something there. And then show me your tongue. How far you go? Well, you don't go too far. No. It's very wide. It's not a V shape. So you already may have one ankyloglossia, tongue tie. So that means it's harder for you to treat her because you also have the same thing. You don't have the resource for her on some level. But we have this class coming up, I think, in March. And it's only half a day or something, so it's super cheap. It's March 3rd. So that's one option. Number two, the um, the bite. If her, if her bite is not together, the teeth and sometimes the tongue go all night like this, trying to find a place that they cannot find anymore. So I would that is to make sure that the bite is properly done. And basically the first thing you can ask, and you can also do that, guys, is bite. And where's your first contact? Front, back, side? Back. For me, I think it's front. Yours is front? We got a mix. Yes. Where should be the first contact? Anybody knows? The first contact is often the very last teeth. So if something is biting, especially on the front, it has to be balanced so that the, the mouth is not, you know, totally unbalanced, you know, and trying to find its place. So things like that has been checked for her, you know, um, And then for sure, you want to replace the bone there, what you learn in, in limb three, with your whole protocol, maxilla, pre-maxilla, palatine, tergoid process of the sphenoid, temporal, all those things, sphenobasilar, all that you can check inside the mouth to make sure, you know, first check with your finger, you have a very nice regular dome in the heart palate, or you have one very slanted one with very round one you have something sticking in the middle the toroid is called sometime you know things like this you want to check for that inside the mouth and uh, there's nothing swollen on the tongue the tongue maybe she's but uh, now you have the skills to be able to map and look at the inside of the mouth right to map the tongue the root of the tongue the floor of the mouth all of those pieces that you didn't have before Right. right, so you can go and map those and assess that way too. I know she has candida, you know, can create that. You can have, uh, you know, some reaction to um, some food. I have a little spot on your tongue. I mean, check the tongue's okay. The cranial nerve that goes with the tongue. What the cranial nerve that goes with the tongue? Anybody knows? Number 12. Number mm -hmm. 12. Except, yeah. except one muscle for the tongue. Um. The palatoglossal. But even though that's, we're talking motoricity, but what about sensation of the two-third anterior of the tongue and the posterior third of the tongue? Taste, the two-third, anterior two-third is seven, back third is nine, and back of the throat is 10. But so right. you have to add five for the touch in the front. Anterior two-third, touch is five, posterior third is nine. So in posterior third, the same for taste and touch. Anterior two third is seven for taste, five for touch, but it's rare. I mean, if she had, what would she had something like this? Only, uh, you know, feeling a sensation in her tongue it would be five. Hopefully, she would have other problem with uh, trigeminal sensation somewhere else. The teeth, the gum, the eyes, cornea, the skull, the dura. You know, trigeminal covers a lot. Thank you for that. The last one is just, I, I don't think it's the case. It was just theoretical if you want. 